Hey guys, what's up? It's Susan Chilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a video on the top five chinchilla toys that I recommend or just five top good toys. I, I don't really know. Anyway, but this is going to be part two because I actually filmed a video like this before and you guys really like that one and I have been requesting a second one and I had to go and run and get Merlin some more toys anyway so I decided just to do a video on it and I'm sorry he's just like not coming out of his hut right now but anyway so we're just gonna go and film the video and I decided to do it outside just like last time so yeah it's just part two of top five chinchilla toys so let's just get right into it okay so I just got outside and I'm trying to find a part of the shade that's gonna make this filming look better but anyway, so this is the bag. I went to PetSmart to pick up some toys because I've just been meaning to place an order, but I never do place an order for chinchilla shops, you know, websites. So I just had to quickly run and get some. And yeah, so let's just get started. So the first toy is this Chew Wreath, and it is from the brand National Geographics, and it just looks like this. So this is how it looks and it is really big like this is my hand. I just got it because I've actually never tried this before, this specific toy before, but he loves anything that has to do with twigs like this, like willow. I think this is grapevine or something, but he's going to love it, I just know. Chinchillas usually rip these things to shreds and that's one of the reasons why people avoid getting these things because they don't want their chinchilla just to eat it all in one day, but honestly they will have the funnest of times and since these are so tight, they will love tearing them apart. And it's also super cute, like just look at that. Imagine it hanging in his cage, I think that's going to be so cute. I think this was like $4, so it was actually such a good price. So that is the first toy. And then the second toy, and I'm really excited about this one, is this All Living Things Wood Arrow Bird Toy. So I found this in the bird section because sometimes I get him things from the bird section. And this is what I found. And the reason why I really liked it was because it had a metal chain like a kebab. And I really wanted one like this so I could make my own toys and so it could be permanent because the wooden ones, the wooden kebabs, they never last, by the way. So I just wanted to get one of these because I thought it would be really nice to have in the future and it just it's pretty long too and the blocks are just they're a pretty good size so I think that Merlin's gonna enjoy eating these up and when he's done with everything on this I'm just going to replace it and the only part I didn't like was the bottom this is not safe for chinchillas I'm not sure what it is I think it might be sisal and it's not safe but I looked at it at the store and it looks pretty easy to cut off I'm just gonna use a scissors or a knife if I need to but that's gonna come off this part it was six dollars so that was a pretty good price Merlin is going to absolutely love it and I think that your chinchillas would too I just love the length of it it's just so long so I really really like that toy so I think I might have actually shown this before in my last top five chinchilla toys video but I'm just gonna show it again because honestly I love this so much so these are the variety shape of wood shoes and I think they're the brand great choice by the way I do not recommend great choice in anything besides their toys and even then you have to watch what you get but um, great choice is just a really low quality in their food and hay and I just had to throw that out there anyway but I just got this because uh, Merlin every single time I buy him toys I buy this because Merlin absolutely love these loves these as you can see they have holes in them so I'm going to be trying to attach them to this and if the holes are too small I can always use a drill to make them larger to fit onto the chain this was only like 250 that look like that I don't know how many are in there oh 12 apparently but I think they're just such great buys. If you have chinchillas, you have to get these. I think it's just really nice to just toss them in their cage and for them to chew on. So the next toy are these Lufa Fruit Chews, again by the brand All Living Things. So when I saw these, I got so excited. First of all, because during the summer, I picked strawberries. So when I saw the strawberries, I was like, oh, it's so cute. I have to get it. But um, these are just... You know, they have tons of Lufa Chews at PetSmart. If you, if you look in the section, you'll see so many different kinds. But I really like these because they're pretty sturdy and thick. And I think they're filled with Lufa in there. Because I looked in the back and it said they were filled with Lufa. So that's really nice. And I think Merlin's going to love these. Lufa is good for chinchillas because it flosses their teeth and keeps them in healthy, good shape. Really sturdy too. Like they're not just filled with air. They actually have more Lufa inside. So... I think that was a pretty good deal. I think these were like three or four dollars. I'm not certain for sure, but these are a really good deal and I love them. So 
if you have a chinchilla, try out loofah. And I know that not all chinchillas are crazy about it. Merlin's not crazy about loofah, but he will chew it, which is good because it's very good for their teeth. Last thing I'm gonna be showing you guys today is this wooden hut. So this is not exactly a toy, and I didn't buy this today. I bought this a while ago, which I think you saw in one of my videos. It was probably a chin vlog. But anyway, so I bought this and I just wanted to show it and it's not a toy, I know, but I just wanted to show it because it is so amazing. I got this from PetSmart and you can see my hair, my shot. Okay, let's move that. It was about $17, which I would never spend that much on any one thing for Merlin as far as like toys and huts go. But I just had to get it because it was just such a good deal because this mm -hmm. thing is humongous. Like Merlin fits in there so well. Just look at that. Look how much space is in there and it is slanted but he still has so much space and he literally just like lays down in there it's so nice and they had these little wooden like poles and it was a hay manger or a hay rack whatever you want to call it but if you hear that sound i don't know if you can those are some weird desert bugs i don't know why they're making so much noise but anyway so yeah he chewed those and i never used it for hay because i knew he would chew it right away but he left too so i mean you can kind of get the idea of what it used to look like and then on this side they had these ramps i'm pretty sure they made these for bunnies they are getting so loud the wood is really smooth and white it's like a, a lighter kind of wood it's almost white so you can paint on it if you want to which you paint with food coloring i don't know if you guys really know how to do that but i can do a video on it if you guys want to see how i make art thank you for stopping anyway but yeah this is just the hut that is really been one of my favorites for a long long time so anyway that's it for the video guys there's really not much more to it but i love everything that i got from Merlin today and i definitely recommend everything here no this video is not sponsored by PetSmart. I don't, I don't even really know how sponsorships work yet so anyway but yeah if you guys want to then i i don't know if i'll link everything down below but i'm pretty sure you can find it online if you look for it but anyway that's it for this video guys and i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video